Alright, so welcome back to our break session training lesson. Today's session open with consolidation. We have flat EMA, consistent price swings up and up and all through the EMA. We have to support the bottom, resistance at the top, and we have to follow short term trend line rule. That is our best bet. How we're going to navigate and follow price action inside of this trend range. Right now, the most recent bias is this short term uptrend working higher. So we expect new high to be tested. So we expect prices to go higher. We're breaking below EMA, so we can't really go long. We need to see high low above EMA. We test it, break, and a new extreme. So this uptrend played a way to break new high, and now we can have correction or reversal. The EMA is going to be an important tool that's going to help us identify what is the structure. And notice, massive bearish bar breaking below EMA, and this is some significant bearish momentum. So what I always want to do, I always want to have these candles contained by a channel because every single candle should be part of some channel or let's say some pattern whether it is directly inside of the channel or it is on its way to test the new extreme i don't see any good short setup because everything is quite far from the ema it is tempting to short but it's simply enough with the ema you know first entry here prices keep working lower so we have break and a new extreme now there is some market geometry working lower there is a nice fitting spike and a channel pattern which is not wrong but because we are right into these lows at the support and the order structure is a trend range i'm better off just following short and trend lines this downtrend played out with the break a few more pushes lower to a new extreme prices are trending higher i cannot go low i cannot take simple high low because it's not confirming absolutely anything and you can see there is empty room at the top so there is potential bearish imbalance so this is right now area where I cannot go short right into these lows, but at the same time, I cannot go long. If I want to go long, I want to see some stronger proven option first. So I got to be careful. Market just open. Let's see what's going to happen. Okay, small little push lower. Prices are trending higher, and this is what I want to see. Okay, we are right now creating higher highs and higher lows. Price action traded lower. EMA flattened. Support held, which means the buyers, they stepped in around this important Price level 5325. Push above EMA is indicating right now the bias is shifting from bear into bull. So I'm gonna identify a brand new channel connecting these swings. Okay, the channel is getting confirmed here nicely. And now we have for a century short, but this is not only for a century short, this is as you can see fell breakout because most breakouts are trend ranges will fail, and this is nothing more than just a trend range just on a smaller scale okay this is tiny train range we broke lower ema held and this is first gray about this setup fell breakout why because it's at the key entry point you can see buyers are stepping into the market and we need to get new high tested following the trend line rule so fell breakout okay we have a break and a new extreme now at this point i have a couple ways how i'm going to analyze the structure there's a chance we're going to go all the way up here to test the resistance so if i'm thinking they're going to be wide channel i need to see ema holding and i need to see the channel getting confirmed that didn't happen you can see we broke below the ema and we broke below the channel so instantly i'm going to delete this remember this is a train range so tighter channels are always the best option and if i'm going to really zoom back i can see that we have clear visual aspect of the two legs one leg up break second leg up around the measure move so it definitely makes sense to see two leg pull back up depletion and i also have small to like a pullback on a more of a local level you can see market moves in pairs of tools so because we broke below ema here it makes sense to right now forget about bullish momentum why the uptrend wasn't confirmed and because i have so many measured moves indicating bear depletion we keep breaking below ema so this is good so at this point i'm going to redraw the short term downtrend working lower we have a new low for a century short, second entry short. Can we go short? We cannot because there is no trigger. Okay, as a trader, you need to wait for a single bar to finish and to get a trigger. If there is no trigger, that means there is no entry. That's important. So there is no setup. Prices are working lower. I'm going to widen the channel just a little bit because I have one, two, three swings. So third swing confirmation. I'm going to copy it. But at the bottom, I'm going to delete the measured move just to make it clear. Okay, the channel holds well. And this is interesting. We have a new low, first entry short, small break new high, second entry short of not only one key entry point, but two, this trend line for confirmation and EMA. This was super tempting trade. 
Okay, this was a very tempting setup because you can see how the bulls are going to get trapped. The trend line keeps holding nicely, but you can see EMA flat. This is what prevented me from taking this. But it's the second entry show two key entry points. Uptrend play that we're most likely going lower. More aggressive trader can consider. There's nice momentum. You can see the massive tail at the top indicating reversal. But the flat EMA a little bit consolidation is quite a worry. Your stop loss has to go one thing about the single bar, so you just have to ride the pullback and eventually you have your winning trade. Okay, the downtrend is still in play. It's nicely confirmed. So at this point, I'm thinking about second entry short because we need to get new low. Okay, now I need lower high confirmation setup. Break below EMA, you can see we have one leg break, second leg. Break a new high. Break below EMA, so I want to see a lower high because we need to get new low. And it's going to confirm the second entry short. And look at the single bar. This is very tempting lower high. Great single bar. Great high about this setup. And it ended up being a losing trade. Now this trade really slapped me today. I really thought that we're going to test the new low because you can see so many confirmations here. Two legs up. Great single bar. It ended up being a losing trade. It's okay. It will work eight or nine times out of ten. Nothing is 100% as part of trading. You cannot get mad about this losing trade at all because it's okay to have a good losing trade, which means that the trade followed the rules. What can shake you up and what can make you frustrated is when you, for example, take a bad trade, you jump the gun or you're too scared to end a good trade. But if you follow the rules, I have to take this up every single time, so this is okay setup. Now, I'm gonna redraw the channel a little bit wider because why prices are working higher. Okay. Can we get the new high? Let EMA congestion were below EMA, so I cannot go along with a hollow breakout pullback above EMA. More congestion, no entry, and prices suddenly trap lower. I cannot go along because we're below EMA. Too much congestion. Why we are struggling to break above the EMA, and this is important. Once this massive push down happened, I have to right now assess. Hold on, what's going on here? We have spike up, spike down, spike up, spike down, spike up, spike down. So we trace too much of this uptrend. It looks like a trend range with slight bearish tilt, which we call this structure weak uptrend. At this point, it's better to just follow breaking you high. This was not easy structure. This was not easy area. Quite difficult area here because you have to right now locate a short term channel. But you can see it looks like a trend range. We're coming off the highs. So stronger pullback makes sense. And if we're going to connect these swings at the top, the wider channel makes sense. It's actually very similar to the structure right here. Now we have new low, there is a first break here, so first entry short, fell instantly, second entry short, you cannot sell below this bullish bar, you can consider double bar entry, but this bar is 5 points big. So you can wait for trigger below this bar and drop a little middle, let's say somewhere around here, decrease the risk. If you play like that, you can consider taking second entry short, because it is of 2 key entry points, the trend line and the EMA. But you need to use limit order, it didn't even pull back, so there is no way to get filled before you reach the scalp. Excuse me, I'm gonna make it here. You know, technically you would not get filled here because it never came back and by the time it reached the scalp, I mean, your order was left behind. So this is mainly educational wise. Next time it's gonna be smaller because you can see there's a gap. It never came back, made the scalp and then reverse. So only educational wise, I'm gonna redraw the uptrend working higher. And also what I like to do is I can't deny the fact we have Uptrend working higher like this. Weak uptrend looks like a trend range slightly tilted up. So this is perfect example how weak uptrend looks. Break new extreme. At this point, I cannot go long until I have a push above EMA and a confirmation that the buyers are about to test the new high. Prices are trending lower. I'm gonna measure the first leg down. Break the second leg down. Measured move. New low first entry short, and this is what you want to see. Prices are finally breaking back above EMA. You can see the overlapping area is indicating very depletion. So this means the bearish momentum is dissipating spike down to test the new low of the downtrend. Downtrend played out. Bearish bottoming pattern. Push above EMA new low first entry short. You want to see felt second entry short off the EMA to get the new high. You have a felt second entry short here, but it's simply so far from the EMA, so I can't take it. But the good thing is, this uptrend is holding and it's getting confirmed, so there's still a chance to get a second entry long. You have a new high, first attempt to go long, failed, second attempt to go long, off the EMA, off the trend line, 
two leg up pullback, great single bar, two up chance, need to get new extreme. Okay, the short one and this bigger one, so which means the bias is bullish. This is great. Second entry law, market keeps working higher. Now I'm gonna make my channel wider because we expect to get new high for this bigger up trend. So I wanna see another second entry law. I'm gonna see a repeat pattern of this second entry law before we're gonna reach the new high right here. Always pay attention to what is the high because it's always safest to take longs before this high has exceeded. Once you exceed the latest highest high, the new high is in place and you can change the market cycle, which is indeed what happened. Break, I'm gonna zoom out so it's easier to see. Uptrend, break, new high, and we were part of big train range. So there's definitely a chance that we may right now reverse straight into train range and a brand new bearish trend can start. Okay. Market keeps breaking lower. I'm gonna redraw the downtrend working lower. There is no good setup here. This is sort of like a visual well second entry long, but it didn't even trigger below this bar. This downtrend is okay, but there is no trade. You know, lower high here, but enough with the EMA. You expect prices to go lower. Okay. Now there is some spike down, and it makes sense to right now draw some channel that aligns with the EMA because we expect right now prices to go back into a trend range. And I'm gonna connect the very first two swings at the top. It's also a valid channel, it's just a little bit too broad, but it's a valid channel as well. Because we're at the top of the trend range, most breakouts will fail. And the weak uptrend played out. Remember, this is very broad and weak uptrend, so chances of continuation are very low. Now we have new low for the century short, second entry short, one top, double top, triple top, Three key entry points, trend line, EMA, and the resistance. This is great. Second entry short, triple test, high probability setup. Okay. Now we have another second entry short. There is no trigger. You get a trigger here, but it is going a little bit sideways. Now, once again, there's small resistance. It's not a bad setup because the trend line is in play more aggressive trader can consider would have been better had it ticked about the previous bar okay first entry short another second entry short by canon look at the single bar bullish doji horrible bar we're going more sideways your stop is still intact break and the new extreme was made so you have your scalp and down trend played out so we can see breaking your high Downtrend played out, we're breaking above EMA, but there is no good setup here because market is about to close and we're just going sideways. And this is the overall structure for today. It ended up being a very weak uptrend, which is basically looking like a trend range slightly tilted up. We were part of some big consolidation, so we definitely expect prices after breaking your high to have stronger pullback all the way back into a trend range. You can see move up, move down, move up, move down strong correction phase so this is how weak uptrend looks it was a difficult day it was a little bit too choppy especially around this area but there are a few good setups if you can catch them this was a really great second entry long and this second entry short was also decent it was just a little bit too stacked i was very surprised this downtrend didn't get to new low but let me see there can be the two-legged pullback there's an aspect of the two-legged pullback so you can see there are two-legged moves hard of two-legged moves I'm not sure if I'm going to measure this leg right here. It's going to give us the second leg. Yes, almost perfect. So there is once again, one big move, break, second big move. So make sure you train your eyes to spot these two legged pullbacks. They will indicate depletion of the current trend, especially if there's a break in your extreme. If you're going to combine the measured move with the trend line rule, that is a great sign that the momentum is dissipating and you can expect market to pivot second inch long to get the new high. Either way, I hope you had a good training day. I'm going to wrap it up. And I'm going to talk to you next time. Good luck your trading.